Here we go, and roll playback. What an incredible honor to be cast as Jesus, but also to be part of this production. John is the perfect cast for Jesus because he has this ethereal quality to him also. In three days, I shall return. <laughs> this endeavor is unique. It's a Broadway show, it's a concert, it's a television show. It's kind of the best of all of these worlds. I'm so excited to work with the entire cast. We already have such a talented group with Sarah Bareilles. She has got the great voice. I don't know how to love him. I'm thrilled. I love this project. I love this score. I'm playing Mary Magdalene. She is a disciple, a believer, a friend, a confidant, a champion. The overall storyline of this show is the last week of Jesus's life through the lens of Judas. Judas loved Jesus and loved his message and was fighting to retain the integrity of the message and of this, his friend whom he cared about so much. It's the betrayal. It's the crucifixion. It's his relationship with Mary Magdalene. It's a roller coaster of emotions. I've been familiar with Jesus Christ Superstar, the show, since I was a teenager in high school. We sang some of the songs in show choir. The power of this production is that it talks about the human emotions that Jesus quite likely felt as he was about to be killed. This is absolutely one of the most classic shows of all time. Talk about timeless subject matter. It kind of has all this beautiful innocence and raw genius. That does look. Look who's singing the story of the greatest superstar ever. If we try, we'll get by, so Don't miss John Legend, Sarah Bareilles, Brandon Victor Dixon, and Alice Cooper. The Christ, yes, the in Tim Rice and Andrew Lloyd Webber's thrilling Jesus Christ Superstar live in concert on great performances. Impressive. Nobody writes a melody like Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber. He's one of a kind. I'm so glad that um, Andrew and Tim are, are blessing us with this great content and with their involvement in the show. He tries to work for what's new and what will resonate with the people who are going to see it now. I think it's you know, just needs to settle a bit more so that the words could get over, you know? Yeah, I think it's, it's at its best when it's as close to being a rock event or a rock concert as it can be. I'm excited for the challenge of doing this show live. Once you are going on that stage, that's it. It is one shot only. To do this show live on television, especially in front of a live audience, it's electric and thrilling. It is an epic journey to witness.